and <laughs> 80 is fine. Gross. Thanks, Ellen. Yep. Each week we have a segment called The Why. This is where we try and answer common questions around us but may not know. Like this week, Evan Kozlov looked into the design of the DC flag. Okay, so there are a bunch of cool state flags out there, but the DC flag just might be the coolest. I mean, ask yourself, which one would you want to wear as a tattoo? Arizona, way too busy. Massachusetts, incredibly boring. Wyoming, that is way too much buffalo. But DC is perfect. Simple, classic, I like it. That brings us to our why question of the day. Why does the DC flag look the way it does. Well, it all started right here at 17th Street and Pennsylvania Avenue. And way back in the day, this is what it looked like. This is a picture from the Washington Post. And inside on the eighth floor was a man named Charles A.R. Dunn. But before we get into what he did in that building, we have to tell you about this. In October of 1917, Dunn was working on the latest edition of National Geographic. It's the so-called flag book with drawings of flags from across the world. Dunn was going through it when he realized, why does DC not have a flag? I mean, there were these unofficial flags, like this one for the DC militia showing G-Dub's famous hatchet, but nothing for the city. Then Dunn goes off to war. He fights in World War I, so this mission goes aside. But when he gets back, goes back to work in this building, that is when he starts doodling. And that's when he thought of it. What about this? The Washington family's coat of arms, as in George Washington. So in 1924, he submitted it to the Washington Evening Star newspaper. And then, in pretty typical Washington fashion, nothing happened. Dunn went back to his job and we didn't have a flag. That was until 1938. The topic heated up again and the government started collecting flag ideas from the public. And they got a bunch, like this one from George Hawkins. Or this one, which showed an eagle and a very busy design. In October of that year, the government held this big joint meeting to look at all their options and they decided that Dunn's was the winner. So that's the why of today, a design born in the mind of an illustrator to honor our first president. All right, I do love the DC flag, but come on, Maryland, it's delightfully tacky. It's the best and worst thing at the same time. Now, if you have any why questions you want answered, send it in to Evan. You can find him on Facebook at Evan Kozloff Reporting, on Twitter, and at ekozloff uh, at wsa9.com via email. All right, get up to you. See you at 6.